Well, today's video, I think I'm going to do another bench test. I'm going to bench test this, uh, this Uniden Bearcat uh, 980 single sideband uh, mobile. I've had this radio for a number of years. I had it in my truck and I was kind of suspicious that it was not quite performing up to standards receive wise. Transmit wise, it seems to do okay, but today I'm going to hook it up and find out just exactly what is going wrong with it. I did some preliminary inspections, I opened it up, and I, I thought that maybe the S meter wasn't aligned correctly, so I tried uh, uh, tweaking that, and I got it a little closer to what I wanted. I wanted to see it at 50 microvolts at S9, and I was able to get that, but only on certain channels. So I had suspicions that the radio was either not tuned correctly from the uh, factory or something happened to it while it was in my vehicle. So it's, uh, I just got everything on here. I'm just waiting for the radio to kind of normalize and stabilize. I, uh, I did discover, though, that uh, it seems to be more sensitive on some channels than others. So uh, it seems to be the most sensitive on channel 13. So we'll find out if channel 13 even meets the uh, specs in the book. According to the book, I should get a sign at of uh, minus uh, 10 dB at half a microvolt on AM. So once this radio uh, kind of gets up to temperature, we will uh, we'll dive into it, see what's wrong with it. All right, all set up, ready to go here in the spectrum analyzer. So we're, what we're looking at here is a, uh, a span of 100 kilohertz. So each division is would be one channel. So here we are. Hello, test one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're looking for okay there. Uh, you know, about as good as we can get, except for those little two peaks. 38 kilohertz from the center, so I'm not sure what those are. Let's see here. And there's no audio at all, just carrier. Yeah, that's curious as to what those might be. I have a feeling that's probably an internal oscillator in the radio that's modulating the carrier. Because <laughs> But they're about 50 dB down, so I don't think they're going to be much of a problem. So let's try sideband. And let's see. Oh, we better add some audio here. Hello, test one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's looking all right. That's our little uh, 38 kilohertz peaks are gone. Or hello, radio. Yeah, they're gone. So I, I guess that's just a product of the AM on this thing. So, But it was looking fine otherwise. So let's, uh, let's check for our carrier suppression level here. Yeah, carrier suppression is down. Let's see, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, at least 55 dB down carrier suppression. So uh, we're looking good there. So no complaints in that department. All right, now we'll check for the second harmonic, and it is barely there. So, uh, from a standard uh, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it's a good 55, 60 dB down. So, second harmonic, not an issue there either. Okay, AM output. We're doing just right at three and a half watts. So, we uh, apply some modulation here and hello, test one, two. Oh yeah, we're doing uh, get you know ten watts, so uh, that part is working just fine. Let's uh, see what we got on sideband here. And here we are in sideband. Hello, test one two. Yeah, a good eleven watts. So yeah, no complaints there on output power. So let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so here we go. Here's sideband. Hello, test one two three four. That's not lock looking too bad for. Uh, for sideband there. There may be a little bit of uh, limiting going on there at the peaks, but looking good so far. Let's try AM now. And here's AM. Yeah, there's a little bit of peaking and uh, limiting going on there, but uh, that looks pretty good too, so I guess that's uh, not looking too bad. 
All right. Hey, the next test will be a phase noise performance test. This is one you don't see very often outside of the test and measurement realm. So what we're going to do is we're going to test the transmitter's phase noise performance using this application. And uh, we'll plot it and uh, we'll see just how well it really looks. Uh, we're going to do it over a plot of uh, a measure offset measurement range of uh, start at 100 hertz and go all the way out to uh, 100 kilohertz. And uh, let's just see how well it does. Well, here's the results of the phase noise analysis. It's you know, kind of average for uh, CB radio. Other than the large spike there at around the 30 kilohertz mark, we're not doing too bad there. It's a good 95.1 uh, dB down at uh, 10 kilohertz spacing. So, oh well, my, yeah, it's not that. It's not too shabby. So here we are on the time interval analyzer. Right now I'm just measuring frequency. And uh, it's not too bad. It's running about, oh, I don't know, 38 hertz low. So that's pretty damn good. It's pretty stable, too. It's, what, the, what the counter's doing here is it's taking 10 readings and then averaging them all. And so... The top number is the actual frequency, and the bottom one that says mean, that's the average between the 10 samples. And the, uh, the standard deviation down the bottom is how much the radio is varying between those 10 samples. So, you know, you know less than 100 millihertz. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So, I mean, stability-wise, at least there seems to be fine. So we'll go on to the, uh, uh, to the graph test to the uh, variance graph, time variance graph, I guess. And we'll try that one and see what the results are there. Well, here's the time uh, variance plot. It's drifted a little bit. Uh, this is over 180 seconds. So at 3.5 watts key down time, it, uh, you know, we start from up here and it slowly drifted downwards about... 7.113 hertz so that's that's still pretty good for a CB radio but uh, yeah not bad but, uh, it's still starting a little low in frequency you know 36 hertz not bad so I guess so far the the transmitter section is just fine so with all this I uh, will move on to the receiver test and just you know find out if it uh, find out how deaf it, uh, it it seems to be. So what I suspected is true. The receive on this radio is deaf. In order to obtain a 10 dB sine ad reading, I have to pump in. 10 times the amount of signal, 5 microvolts, at this phone in focus. Uh, normally that's supposed to take uh, half a microvolt, and I'm putting in 5 microvolts. So yeah, there's a there's something wrong with the radio. It wasn't uh, calibr or tuned properly at the factory, or something happened to it while it was in my vehicle. So let's, uh, while we're at it, let's see what the uh, sign ad on sideband is going to be. Well, so on sideband, lower sideband to get 10 dB sine head, we have to have 1.2 microvolts going into the antenna. That's much, much higher than the uh, 0.25 microvolts. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously something wrong with the radio. But receiver performance, yeah, pretty crappy. Transmitter performance is, uh, I guess, acceptable. It uh, seemed to do all right. But uh, sensitivity, yeah, if you'd have, I mean, you'd have to put a preamp on this thing to get it up to where it needs to be. So I am not sure what the deal is. I'll have to see if I can find some service manual information. There doesn't seem to be anything readily available off the Internet. I did some searching, but I uh, couldn't find anything immediately. So let's try this on uh, another channel and see if it's worse up on, the, uh, on channel 38. Well, here on channel 38, 
lower side band. Still sending uh, 1.2 microvolts to the uh, receiver. We are still kind of holding a 10 dB sign in, so other than it may be being off by a few dB across the board, uh, yeah, it's pretty consistent with its uh, deafness. <laughs> so, anywho, yeah, I guess I'll have to look into this. Uh, so, but I, if you're looking for one of these radios, don't let this video discourage you. The uh, transmitter performance for a CB radio was quite good in my opinion um, you know spurious emissions were minimal other than that little 38 kilohertz uh, uh, you know oddness there on AM that was that was kind of weird I my guess it's uh, probably a uh, an internal reference frequency for the processor and it's just leaking into the uh, the transmitted AM audio it's definitely after the uh, the pass band uh, part so it wouldn't have made it through otherwise um yeah so i don't know i this could be one-off thing so if uh, don't let this like i said don't let this video discourage you from buying one of these but uh be aware that yeah some of these aren't living up to their expectations so i'll uh, make a lot of these uh these graphs and and so forth you know the uh, spe spectrum analyzer uh uh, display and the uh, time variance graph and the uh, oh crap the uh, <laughs> phase noise performance test. I'll put those uh, in links down in the description so you can look at them more closely. So unless I think of something else to add to the video I think we'll call it quits with this radio for now so catch you next time and uh, thanks for watching.